weekly analysis and today we are starting on USD card. Today is lesson 75. I'm very excited because you're almost hitting lesson 100. Imagine you have done 75 lessons for free. You don't have any excuse why you should not be making it in Forex. I have danced from lesson one and this is lesson 75. So there are 74 videos ready for you to learn. So if this is the first video that you're watching, Always know that there are other 74 lessons to watch. So let's start with USD card and I'll start from the monthly time frame so that we can build the case. And again, I want to show you something. By the end of this video, I want to tell you the different types of broker. I've come to realize that these brokers they are giving, they are printing different candles. I don't know if you have, if you have um, noticed, but let me just comment down below, which broker do you used to analyze. For me, I've been using FXCM and sometimes I have seen they are giving me now, um, they can give me a candle has broke, but on another broker like Oanda, Paperstone, it has not broke. I don't know if, you, if that's a problem when you analyze, you're analyzing. So comment down below. Let's see which broker do you use when it comes to analyzing on TradingView. Do you use FXCM? Do you use Oanda? Do you use uh, Paperstone? Do you use FX Open Capital? It's called Capital Market or something. Which one do you use? Because I found that yes, FXCM can tell me buy, but if I don't go and check another time frame, and I, that's what really happened on gold. The next video I'll be talking on gold. That's exactly what happened on gold because I was viewing one analysis on this and it was different on the other. So comment down below. Let me know what you guys you use and do you have that challenge if you have challenge comment down below i don't want to be alone so that's what i will tell you at the end of this video i will tell you i will try to compare and you will see what i mean so from the monthly perspective guys uh we got a very very um bullish momentum candle this market uh, has been buying quite a while and then it started to go down then bought for another three months so we can't really tell if buyers are strong or or if sellers were strong why because we have come to a uh, like a ranging so the market has entered a ranging you see anytime your pair has entered a ranging there's no way you can say oh buyers are strong oh sellers are strong Oh, monthly time frame is supporting buyers. Monthly time frame is supporting sellers. When when you have such a situation, trust me, the market can do anything. So USD card I'm open either to sell or buy. Because if you go to lower time frame, any chance I have to sell, I will sell it. Any chance I have to buy, I'll buy it according to the strategy that will give me. Uh, if it will give me a confirmed entry, a pattern on lower time frame I can enter. So we have we agreed on higher time frame on monthly, there is no pattern, there is no way to tell us because you cannot, this is not even a double, this is not a double top, double bottom. You can see the market actually broke this support and then it went up. What if this is a retracement of three good months? So we cannot tell if the market wants to sell, it, it wants to buy because you can see it has it has come to this area. Again, what if it wants to create a, a triple top? So we already know a triple top, the market pushes the market down. So we can't tell exactly what the market wants to do using monthly. So let's go to the weekly time frame and we see from the weekly time frame what we have. So from the weekly time frame again, guys, you can see that ranging is very, very clear. And um on the weekly time frame, we didn't have a double top. Guys, can you see? We didn't have a double top here. The market never activated a double top. So we didn't have a double top. That This high on the monthly, it had activated a double top. But on the weekly, there was no double top. But right now, we have a double top. Can you see, guys? We have a double top, guys. That's a double top that we have. And this double top, can you see this double top? Let me show you. So this is the double top we are talking about. We have this first attempt. This is our first attempt. And then we have our second attempt here. That's our second attempt. Guys, notice this double top, this area, this high here has not activated. So from the weekly time frame. 
we have a what? We have a double top. And why am I calling it a double top? Um, it, we have a possible double top because it has not broken half. A double top comes to be when half is broken. So I have a possible double top. That's my neckline. So let me measure my half. So there is high possibility that this market will come to this level. Minding that, uh, having in mind that we have RBS in this, there is RBS in this half. So I have RBS, meaning that that double top is very, very strong. It will, the market will fall. The question is, uh, how do we get an entry? RBS, so we have RBS. If I flip the same market on the monthly, if I flip the same market on the monthly, you can see the same double top is available. Guys, can you see? The same double top is available. Now I want to show you when the same double top is available both on monthly and weekly, if weekly gives you an entry, most chances the market can reverse on you. What do I mean? If I have the same double top using monthly time frame, I can see a, a double top and weekly I can see a double top. The confirmation for entry will come from the monthly. So we have to wait for the half to be broken by monthly time frame not weekly time frame. If it's an entry WBB, you have to wait for a red candle. You check if it's bearish angle. If not, you put a box using monthly. So this trade, we were not entering using weekly. And that's why you see a very good trade. Give us a bullish, a bearish angle. But the market bought. You can imagine how many people were trapped in this trade last week. And this is what I tell people. A uh, double top can be on the monthly and still on the weekly, and they will start giving you entry with weekly because they know majority they don't pay attention. So many people saw this double top, gave them very shank up, and they are thinking, Esther Mofri, you, you keep saying WBB works. Why didn't it work on USD card? I'm telling you now, the reason why this double top never worked, it's because it's still on the monthly time frame. So if a double top is on the monthly time frame, what happens is that your entry, your WBB, it's not this red candle. You see, if I flip on the monthly, the red candle has not even closed. So I have to wait for a whole month for me to come and, and see what will happen. So if this candle breaks the half or engulfs this green, by the end of the November, that's when I'll say we have a confirmed double top. So from the weekly time frame. Immediately, we were given bearish anger. For me, even I didn't trade it because I knew it's a trap. Immediately, the market went up with 210 pips. Guys, you can imagine, that is so many pips. So the market went 210 pips. So that is to tell you that the market can do anything. And you see, they, had, they came here, activated. They gave you bearish anger, activated a double bottom. Can you see there's a double bottom activated? So we have pattern two. I told you, once you have pattern one, they will always give you pattern two. So most, most of the people are checking this pattern two, the double top, the double bottom that was activated and it has broken half. So I want to prevent you from buying your SD card because maybe you have seen this double bottom and you're thinking, oh, now I will buy, it's my chance to buy because the double top didn't work, let me tell you. The double bottom is just a distraction. Why? Pattern one, double top on weekly. So this is our P1. Our P2 is this double bottom that has even given us an entry. So ask yourself, the same way they gave you bearish off and went up, why are they breaking half? Why is this double bottom going to work? So this is P2. Most of the time, P3 and P1, they work together. So anytime I have pattern, anytime I have pattern one, and then they are looking for pattern three, they are they will be working together. So we have to check for pattern three. So this double bottom may it not blind you. And they have put it there for a reason. If I was to be asked, many people will want to buy up to the neckline, which is a trap. So guys, don't pay attention on that double bottom. So if we come to the daily time frame, I want to show you something. What you're calling the double bottom, this is what happened. There is no double bottom on the daily. And in fact, 
on the daily we have a break of structure. So sellers are very strong. Can you see? Sellers are very strong. They came broke this support and the market immediately started to go up. Meaning sellers have declared that this market is going to drop. So what for me, I'm thinking, what if, what if this, this is a retracement? What if that is a retracement for market to start selling uh, to agree with pattern one? So the fact that there was support break, the fact that this support break was broken, it means sellers still have a last shot. That's what I'm, I'm telling you guys. They will try to manipulate you. So many people know how the market will do, but the right timing is what lacks. Majority of you know the market will buy, but for you to buy at the right time is what lacks. And that's why I keep telling you, you need the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is our counsel. He's our guide. He's the spirit that is right. He's always right. He will counsel you and tell you, don't enter right now, give it time. He's the one who gives us patience. So by the time you're involving the Holy Spirit, we don't involve the Holy Spirit because uh, we are lazy. We just involve the Holy Spirit. Why? Because sometimes we know what the market will do, but at what time? Exactly what time will it do? That's the question. So guys, uh, from the daily perspective, there's nothing is happening. I don't have a double bottom that I'm seeing on the weekly. I don't have the double top because, in fact, the double top is on monthly, weekly, daily. So on the daily, I'm blank. Nothing is happening. Even if I'm, I'm asking myself, why has this market stopped just like that? So why did this market stop? There's no like a resistance, no double top that made this market to stop. So when I go to four hour. I find I have one candle resistance and this is where everything changes. So I have this one candle resistance. I have this one candle resistance. Can you see it? This one candle, the fact there's a green candle followed by red, a resistance is created. So I mark this because I just want to go on a daily to check, do I really have a double top on the daily? Because the strongest thing that you have in the market is having one pattern on one time frame. You can see the reason why we have not able to trade the weekly double top is because it was on the monthly. So now we have been given another chance of a double top. And this is now our P3. Like I told you, P3 most of the time, it talks the same language with, it talks the same language with pattern one. So here we have P3 and it's a double top and pattern one is still a double top. So this is P3, which for me, I believe this is the accurate pattern they will use. Now, we just need to confirm from the daily, is it there? Guys, is it there? It's no longer there. So as long as it's not there, they will use this double top. So I was excited when I was doing this analysis. I was very excited and I knew now I have a double top. And this possible double top, because it's not on the daily, I will, I'm not like... Uh, stress on time frame alignment is just that if if four hour tells me to buy to sell i gonna sell to the half then wait for the half to be broken and continue selling now the problem came and i want to show you where the problem came in when i started to check the strategy to enter the strategy to enter is csb CSB. CSB means current support break. So I had to look for my current support, my current support so that I can see if it has broken. You can see I have my current support here. So everything was going on well and I was very excited that this market has given me a sale. So I knew coming, by the time you're watching this video, I knew this market is confirmed sale because I'm doing this uh, video, I'm recording it on Sunday and the markets are closed. And this is how Friday candle closed. So for me, I knew but this is one of the trades that you'll be looking on the weekly. Like this is a free, a free signal for you guys. But because of what gold did, for, did us on Friday, I had done the same analysis on gold using a particular broker, but my analysis were perfect because there were some things hidden from that broker. I could not see well. When I when the market starts to go down, I asked myself, why is this market selling and it has to buy? And I flipped to a different broker and I saw 
different levels of support. Dif like it had a different chart. And I felt cheated by the guys. I felt cheated. I felt very bad. And I will talk on that on gold. So the next lesson you have to watch it. Now, because of that gold experience, you know, we learn through experiences and we learn through mistakes and we learn through things that comes to us. For me, I came to realize, yes, the market has to sell, but I asked myself, I'm using FXCM. What is the fate on other trades? I just need 47 pips when the market opens. I enter immediately, but am I sure on the other brokers using the USD card? So I said, let me first go to Oanda and check, has it broke? So I went to Rwanda, guys, and my surprise, oh my goodness, I felt cheated again. But this time, I have noticed. Can you see the same double top? Can you see? Same double top. Now this is Rwanda, a different broker. Same double top. And then we have the neckline. And then I measure half. So everything seemed okay. I said, let me first check if uh, on the daily it is there. So I went on the daily to see if this double top is there. It's not there. You can see it's not there. But the problem was, Oanda has not broken current support. And I'm thinking, what's happening? Why are they messing up with my head? Why can they have different candles? Like this is something I cannot even understand. Why are they having different candles? One candle on FXCM is telling me it has broken. The other one, it has not broken. So who is talking the truth? Who is telling the truth? Guy is trying to help me because my strategies rely so much on candle pattern. How the candle moves, my strategy relies so much on that. So if broker starts to mess me up, I feel vulnerable. vulnerable. Why? Because now I don't know who is talking the truth. So I say, it, okay, I have Oanda not broken, but I have FXCM broken. Like one has broke, the other one has not. So I said, let me go to Paperstone. Maybe Paperstone will try to help me. Hey, I go to Paperstone and now it's a, it's a war between it's a war between two and one. So Paperstone, that's the same double top. And as we check our current support, not broken. And you see, guys, the way I was excited when I was doing analysis on FXCM, I knew I have a trade. In fact, I wanted to risk that trade because it was small pips, like 40 pips. I wanted to put a high lot so that one, I, I, like it is just hit my take profit, I make money. But you see, I don't know now what to do. Comment down below. Tell me, have you ever been in such a fix? Like you're finding one pair, one broker, is, is has done this, has not broke, but the other one has broke. So it's between FXCA, uh, Oanda and Paperstone have not broke, have not broke. So if I, let me, let me, let, let me try to show you, um, both have not broke, USD card has broke. Can you see? So I say, let me still look for USD card. For those people who don't understand what I mean, when you search for USD card, you can see all these USD card are different brokers from FXCM or under forex.com, 8cap, paperstone, capital.com. So let's look for capital.com and forex.com. I don't think I will look at another one. I just want to see from there, from capital.com, what have they done? Check again. They have broke. So capital.com and no wonder they are saying, as we have broke. So tell me. Who is talking the truth? Now it's two is two is two, two. Like two brokers have broke, two other have not broke. So capital.com and FXCM, they have broke that support. Oanda and, and Paperstone, they have not broke. And then we go to forex.com. Forex.com, they have not broke. For me, I will not enter that trade until I see them breaking. I have so much respect on Paperstone because I believe Paperstone, they do not manipulate their, their candles. And first of all, if FXCM has an issue, the first thing I go to check is Paperstone. And once Paperstone, they have not broke, um, I cannot enter this trade. So this is to tell you guys, 
uh, this trade USD card, watch it. And once paper stone break, I want you to confirm from all brokers. These things like this, we really need to confirm from all brokers because FXCM and 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 Capital, they are telling us they are broke. But you see, if you enter this trade, always know if you enter such a trade, the potential of this market to become a cup and handle is very high. Why? The double top has a high chance of either becoming a cup and handle or a complete double top. So if, if when you when you see a double top, you have to be very, very careful. So with that, I have opened your mind to always check, always be checking. Once more so, if you get an entry confirmation, I want you to be checking different types of brokers because I don't want you to be trapped between like we were trapped on gold. So once I tell you what happened on gold, that's when we realize, oh my goodness, what really happened? We will analyze gold, then I will tell you what really happened in the next lesson. All the best guys, USD card is one of the trades that we are checking this week. It has a potential sell because that sell, um, it's only on one time frame. It's a matter of time if they break that support. If they break 37.91, if they break that 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 7.1, we have a sale opportunity. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. All the best. Make sure to like this video, comment, and subscribe. Bye bye. Love you.